song that sound good. Let's go, let's go. Well, this song goes out to anybody that got somebody. There she is. Hey, Tamiko. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another episode, episode number 26. Blue Table Talk for Men. Y'all come on in. Let's go, let's go. I call. Your voicemail is still full. Let's go, y'all. Tap that screen. Let's go. Is there a man code? If so, what is the man code all about? Let's go, y'all. All right, let's go, y'all. Uh, prayers up for Tamiko Smith and her family. Um, uh, they, her father is having some uh, health issues, and we're praying for the Smith family this evening. And hope everybody's doing all right. Let me put this on a low. Hope everybody's having a good time. Do you know next Thursday is Thanksgiving? And I hope that you're being thankful this month. We have so much to be thankful for. I would, um, we, I did a study today. I was doing a Zoom class today, and uh, one of the books we were studying, the book of Colossians, one of the themes uh, is thankfulness. And I've been doing a series of messages, and I'm going to pick it back up this Sunday talking about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a lifestyle. And uh, we have a lot to be thankful for. Uh-oh, here's man number one tonight. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Rory. And Rory's got a lot to be thankful for, too. That's, that's my man right there. Let me see if he got a bunny on tonight. No, not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Rory? What's going on, Doc? How you doing, brother? Man, I'm doing fine. How you doing, man? I won't complain. <laughs> oh, boy, boy, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know, we'll go there in a minute, dog. We'll go there. Minute, hey, minute. hey, we'll go there, won't we? Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. Hey, I know I know you know this one. I know you know this one. And Tamiko probably know this one too. I know, I know Kate probably know this one too. Lord, I am so thankful for what you've done for me. Oh yeah. Lord, I am. So thankful for what you've done for me. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't I can't say that I know that one. <laughs> I tell you one I do know. What what you know? Talk to me. I told the storm to pass. <laughs> storm you can't last. <laughs> All right <laughs> now. Boy, boy, hey Roy, man, you messing with me tonight. Hey, how about this one? See, you know, we about Baptist back in the day. Uh let's see. Let's see. Uh the storm is passing over. Hallelujah. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a classic. Yeah, hello. How That's how's a... your week going, man? Man, if my week was going any better, my name would be Dr. Walter Sims. What? But come on with it. Come on with it. I somebody know. somebody tells me you got a promotion and a little bit of raise. Yeah, Doc. <laughs> I got a promotion, brother. I got a promotion at my job. The real for real, uh, they made a position. They created a position for me. At okay. This, at this company. Uh, I am the lead technician, and I'm also uh, the tech trainer, the new trainer. Okay. Trainer. Uh, for the region, and uh, yeah, and that came with uh, they took me. I'll say it like this: they took me off hourly pay. And That's not bad. And That's then, not bad. That's gonna, not bad. Yellow bull. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you how much I make right now, but they gave me a thirteen thousand dollar raise. So. That's not bad, man. That's not bad. That's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey, like, hey, like we say, like we say here in Alabama and Southeast Georgia, won't he do it? Won't he will? Oh, only will. Only will. Yellow bull, yellow bull, Goldie, how you doing, man? Good afternoon. I am just not stepping into the house. I was breaking laws getting home, <laughs> so I wouldn't, so I would not miss the intro. I kid you not. I am just literally sitting down to my desk. Uh, I was man, out knocking, I was that out that that, and, 
and, that uh, means a lot to us, like, man. Yeah, absolutely. I was out door knocking, and and uh, uh, I'm part of a well nonprofit organization. I bail out people, but another part of my job is that I help out the other houses within the organization and uh, the housing, the housing section of our organization was out knocking on apartment doors and, and uh, you know, trying Better. to find out what's the problems going on with, with their apartment complexes. So okay. we're, making a ba- we're making a, a list of bad landlords. Okay. okay. We're all going to bring them to the table and, uh, and call them out on the substandard living conditions that, these people are paying rent for, regardless if you're Section Eight, regardless if you're on government assistance, right. regardless if you're you know working a nine to five and you're paying you know full rate, whatever the case may be. Nobody should be able to live in substandard living when you are paying rent. I don't care. That's you're right. One twenty five or a thousand, uh, eleven hundred and twenty five dollars. It doesn't matter. Nobody deserves to live below a certain standard. Right, uh, man. That's good that, stuff. That's good stuff, man. Rent. So that's what I was doing. I was on the other side of town. I looked at the clock. I said, "Okay, it's seven twenty-five. I'm thirty mm-hmm. minutes away from the house. I think I can make it in twenty-five. So I was doing about ninety-five. You know, I was driving like I was in Houston. So oh, I, was, <laughs> I was, I was getting it. I was getting it, and I made night it. rider. Kit, Kit, I can get us there. Kit, come on, night, come on, let's go, let's go, <laughs> Kit, let's go. I can get us there, Michael. I can get us there. That's it. That's it. And all you heard was that. Right, I was, I was getting it. <laughs> well, okay, and last but not least, we want to get an update from the man, the legend, the myth, Sneaky Phil. What's up, man? <laughs> can y'all hear me? Hope you can hear me. Okay. Hey. Outstanding. Okay. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I made it. I made it. Sorry, I was a little bit late. I got home after this beautiful day, and my wife laid those beautiful brown eyes on me. And I said, baby, I got a new table talk. She's well, baby, take out the trash because trash bag coming tomorrow. <laughs> I saw a TikTok so, about that. I saw a TikTok about that. Oh, so really? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little bit late because she was like, you won't get that trash out. Blue table talk about butt. <laughs> right. Well, you tell Miss Kim, you tell Miss Kim I need to talk with her, okay? <laughs> but I've had a great week. Uh, always looking forward to today so I can see my brothers. I, I really appreciate and love you guys. And uh, I can't complain. I do work at a hospital, and it's no two days are the same. This was an interesting week. We had <laughs> someone that said, I'm not going to do what I'm going to do. And another one says, I'll do whatever you want. And both of them almost came to this in a professional oh, wow. way because I'm, I'm security. But uh, they decided to stand down. I told my wife, I was like, you know, today I thought it was going to be a little painful, but I was going to go in now. But the dude, decided, the dude decided that uh, he didn't want to ride that horse. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. And speaking of hospital, we got home with discharge from the hospital last Friday. We go back that's tomorrow uh, for a uh, another visit and to uh, get some uh, things removed. So God is good. Not some of the time. God is good all oh, the time. All the time. <laughs> he really is. Won't he win? You know? Won't he win? Won't, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> ah, ah, Hey, guys, what? Before we jump into this man code discussion, the bro code, as somebody corrected me last week, it's the bro code. Uh, what about that red wave that we were supposed to have, fellas? Well, oh, that, that, that red spoop. <laughs> 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 That missed that well, everybody's te- talking about. Texas dropped the ball. Well, yeah. well, I'll yeah. tell you, I'll tell you, you can't poll accurately with young people that don't have a landline. You know what I'm saying? You can't poll Generation Z. You also can't That's piss right. them off. Okay. That- You're talking about a generation now. Okay, let's go ahead. The boomers, the baby boomers were, you know, off the heels of a war and the economy right. after the war was over, it started flourishing and they had a lot of stuff given to them because of the greatest generation before them. Uh-huh. Right. Then you had the the Generation Xers, you had us, all right, we're those kids, and we're the ones, we were feral, go outside, play, but come back in before the lights are on. They didn't care. You know, we, 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 we kind of raised ourselves. Every, two parents had to work and you know, the right. TV raised us. You know, Speed Racer, Tom and Jerry, all that stuff raised us. And then you had the millennials, our kids. The economy was pretty good. We were doing all right, and we had a lot of stuff given to them, and they had a lot of right. stuff given to them. And then it was the era of no one left behind 
there was no losers. Everyone got a trophy anyway. Everything was given to them. That was the millennials. Right. Right. Generation Z, these kids have been, one, at war their entire life. We were in Afghanistan for 20 years. Mm -hmm. That's so these right. kids have been at war for 20 years. These kids have been told they got to have bulletproof backpacks for a whole lot of time. Right. These kids have been uh, gone through a lot of freaking hardship over these last right. 18, 20 years. And now you're going to tell them that they can't do something when they think they can. You can't do this. You can't right. control your body, girls. You can't love who you want, guys and girls. Uh, you, They're like, no, we're not having it. That, that's and, very true. And, to, and to your point, good evening again, everybody. We're about to get into our topic, but we kind of easing into the discussion tonight. Even at that, even at that, the race still was close because the the Democrats still retained control of the Senate, but mm -hmm. they've lost the House by a slight margin. So on Let's average, see. across the board, only about 25 to 27 percent of the population is voting. But what you're saying is it was close. Traditionally, in all of our adult lives, and for the last 50 years, whatever freaking House has the executive branch, they get swamped right. in midterms. 30, 40, right. 50 seats. Change it. Obama was the worst. He lost like six, but you, you know why that was. But anyway, That's right. they lost what? One or two seats? It's never been this close in my adult lifetime. No, That's we right. turned out. We turned out. That's why they we were talking did. about red wave because that was historically accurate. That's what always happened. They right. changed history. This go around the millennials and the red, the, uh, the generations. He says, no, we ain't having it. We're not having That's it. That's right. That's right. So every, everybody needs to know their vote counts. Their vote does count, but check this out. They want, The Republicans want to force people to have babies. That's one thing, but the boomers are dying. The mm -hmm. Generation Zs are just getting older. See, us Xers are kind of in the middle. We're moving up there, but the, the old 70, 80, 90-year-olds, those boomers are going away, and they're traditionally That's Republicans. Right. Okay, that not, to, not to mention how close some of these races were Mm -hmm. How many freak? How many of those Republicans that didn't want to get vaccinated passed away out of those millions? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Some of those votes would have counted, and they ain't here no more. They did it to themselves. That's very true. So in Georgia, in Georgia, there's a runoff between Warnock and Walker. Makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. Abs ab for, for and and I'm going to interject. I see Rory I'm, shaking his head. Rory, I'm Rory, the, what was that head shaking for? Rory, I'm the political. I, I'm the political guy in here. I am not even going to hold you. I jumped off of Facebook because I'm the political dude. I ain't. I ain't mm. feel like being political anymore. But now we 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 in my wheelhouse you right got now. Me. Listen, for, first <laughs> you of all, jo Georgia, 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 Georgia. Please listen to me. I would love to find out the who in the world, who in the hell. I'm sorry. Let me just go ahead and be real with you. Who in the hell? <laughs> of the 1.8 million people decided that they wanted to go ahead and vote for 1.9 1. 1. 1. was it 1.9 for for 1.92 1. 1.92 okay. 1. I stand I sit corrected 1.92 people that voted for a man that played with no helmet and speaks like it at this particular time and juncture who who in their right mind decided that this man who mumbles, stumbles, and fumbles over his words with every sentence, and we ain't talking about T. Rump either, decided that this would be the black man that we want to lead our state? Who? 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 And see, that's this. such a that's such a great segue into talking about the man code. He does not have a close enough friend to pull him no. to the side and say, "Bro, come here, come no. here, no. bro, come here, bro, like the, come like that here." Pastor, Let me like that pastor said that went viral. That man has been t has been told by white people all of his life what to do. Mm -hmm. Do you think that he's going to get in office and decide, you know what? My people need help. I think I'm going to go ahead and side with my people and they gonna, we're going to mm -hmm. give them help. Uh, absolutely the hell not. Because what's he is definitely going to vote how they tell him to vote. Mm -hmm. Period. What, what's frustrating Period. to me, and this last thing will say political, hopefully. <laughs> What's frustrating to me is he is the stereotypical exact thing that white folks expect the, the stereotypical down south black dude to be. Facts. That's right. right. Big, That's right. intimidating, and dumb as a rock. Facts. That's yeah. It. When did when did That's when it. did Denzel when did Denzel Washington win his Oscar award? 
Ooh. What did he, what role did he win it for? Oh, for training. Training day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. All Halle the Bear, all the Halle roles Bear he played. Her, Halle Berry won her Oscar for Monsters Ball. Monsters Ball. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so yeah. bless his heart. Hopefully, hopefully Warnock is gonna win his seat for another six years. And I Googled how much does a US senator make? Because they spent millions of dollars on this campaign so far. A U.S. senator only makes roughly one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars a year. So you're spending you're basically spending a dollar for a job to pay your quarter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. It's all about power. It's all about control. Mm -hmm. That's shocking. Well, they definitely got the right puppet. I'll say that. Bless it. Yeah, all I can say is bless it. So when I hear him speak and hear him, and you know what's sometimes so funny? I'm understanding what he's saying. <laughs> I don't know what that oh, says. Don't, don't say that, Dr. Sims. Don't say that. Don't say that. Keep, don't, keep don't, that in your pocket, sir. Don't, 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 don't repeat those words no more. Please, sir. Hey, <laughs> he was talking about there was there was two children in a room. One had toys, one had manure. I'm like, oh my goodness, Herschel. That's it. Every time he opened his mouth, I think a mush mouse from freaking Fat Albert. Hey, but fab, but abba, 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 we would do. Every time. No, don't do that. All he needs is a beanie on. Bless his no, heart. Mush mouth, mush mouth had a line of thought. It just, the way it came out sounded it came weird. Out. Yeah, at least. It, 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 valid point. Walker does not have that line of thought. Yeah, and guys, y'all got to tell way. everybody, who is mush mouth? Because this, some of our audience is, is young oh, and they might not know who Mushmouth is. Y'all need to Google it, YouTube it. Yeah, Mushmouth was that. a Fat Alba character. Facts. A Bill Cosby character. You know, Bill Cosby voiced all of those characters. All of them. He, he sure did. He, he sure did. Hey, hey, hey. That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. And, and and that's a great segue into our discussion tonight because with those characters, all those guys, there was a code, you know, and they looked out for each other. So yeah. is there such a thing? Because women have a code, men have a code. Is there a code among men? And who came up with the man code? Hmm. Uh, I say yes, there is a code among men. And a man that came up, uh, uh, it was a man that didn't want to, uh, wanted to do some dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Facts. And his homeboy caught him up and said, "Hey, look, listen here, brother. This is what we gonna do. I'm gonna. I got a little bit of dirt on you. You got a little bit of dirt on me. We just gonna keep it to the chest. And what we talk about and what we do stays right here. Stay right with us. Because right. yeah, what that saying says: snitches get stitches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Wind up in ditches. <laughs> but I think it started. I think it started with um." Uh, I think it started at some time back in the day, right? Back, right. Um, you know when there was "quote unquote" honor amongst thieves. Uh, that gangsters got together and said, "Hey, look, we know we gangsters. We know we ain't right, but there is a certain code amongst us." Even let's take it back to pirates and whatnot. Yeah, yeah come on. You know, until your point, until your point, there's. You know, within the the crooks, the criminal minds, there's honor inside of that criminality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there's just there are certain rules, and I think it kind of ties into the man code. There's certain things you do and certain things you don't do on the battlefield. I'm, I'm a military guy. On the battlefield, if you got an opponent that's wounded, you capture him. You don't kill him once he's unarmed. That's just a rule. There's things you right. do. There's things you don't do. Moral. Immoral, good versus bad, <clears throat> and I think that kind of got tainted and and transcended into, hey man, you don't tell on me, and I won't <laughs> tell on you. Some type of way that moral code turned into the bro code. Yeah, and I mean, and is that is there a line? Is 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 there a line where? Wait a minute, now I I gotta say something. When do you like? Lay down the bro code and pick up the moral code. Where where is that fine line, guys? I've been thinking well, about this all week. It depends on the individual, okay? Because some people have different values. Some people have different uh, 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 ideals. Some people have different integrity. You know, some mm. people be like, "Hey, you don't tell on me," but uh, I don't like what you did. That, that, you know what I'm saying? It's like once again in the military, you pulling guard duty, fifty percent. One guy sleep, one guy stay at work, stay awake, right? 
So you stay awake for an hour and let him rest, and then it's your turn to go to sleep. And next thing you know, you wake up in the morning because he fell asleep too. Right. All right. He, you know, <laughs> everyone, you, you see what I'm saying? I did my part, but you let me down, man. We both right. we both went to sleep and we get caught and we both get in trouble, you know, that type of thing. Right. Right. Hey, you got to whoo <laughs> It's I, deep, I, man. I, I, go I'll ahead. Go ahead. I'll I'll be truly honest with you. Um if we look at if we want to talk about man code slash bro code, we, we can take it all the way back to medieval times. Okay. If 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 we if we really have to do it when you're jousting and, and you have there, there is you are down and injured, you know, you're not gonna go over there and, and finish him off. That's man code. Right. That's bro that's bro code. When uh where we got the salute from, when we salute, that would actually come from medieval times to actually show that there's no weapon in our hand. Mm -hmm. That's man true. code. That's bro code. This is true. So yeah. it goes all the way back just to show, it, is there honor within your heart? Right. Are you walking this earth with honor in your heart to your fellow man? Mm -hmm. Now, if someone comes against you, bro code goes out the way. Yeah. Now yeah. you have to defend, now you have to defend your stance. But if yeah. we are right. on equal footing and we have the equal spirit, then we're going to show that code. Now, no one right. else on the outside can come in between the yeah. code that you and I have set as a standard and no one right. can speak against that code that you and I have set as a standard. The moment that happens, then all ranks need to file together and combat that one person. Either you right bring on. him into the fold or you excommunicate him. However right. that may feel. So that's yep. for me, that's what bro code and man code kind of kind of stems from. Yeah, R Rory chimed here because in martial art, I was watching Michael J. Thomas the other night in, in one of his older movies. And in martial arts, there's a certain code you never attack somebody from behind. I mean, outside of being a ninja, you <laughs> you you face up. If you don't have a weapon and your opponent doesn't have a weapon, you throw your weapon down and y'all fight. If it's a fist fight, it's a fist fight. If there are weapons, we both have weapons. What explain that in martial arts space? So, Doc, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> for me, it's about getting an advantage. Now, I'm a martial artist, but I'm also a Marine veteran. Okay, okay. Thanks. So it's about getting yeah. an advantage. Now, uh, as a martial artist, uh, the honor comes where I use my art for defense only, unless I'm I'm competing. Uh, but my art is for defense only. And then right. the is once I get uh, uh, uh get myself to safety, I'm in a place where I'm I'm safe. I don't continue pounding the guy. I just right. I, I you know I get myself to safety. And then I go away, go my own way. Um, right. Uh, now, if I have a weapon and it's, it's a guy run up on me uh, oh. trying to harm me, right. I don't know what he's capable of. I don't know. I understand. His or, or her, because, you know, right. females compete too, but fight too. I don't know his or her mindset. And so I'm going to do there again, even though I have this weapon, I'm going to defend myself with that weapon to get myself to safety because I have a duty to get home to my daughter and my sons. You know that's I mean? good. That's no, but, good. But, so you don't pick no, fights. You don't pick fights, no, do you? But I damn will finish them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you won't pass the first lick, but I get the last. I'm gonna get the last. Uh, but but in all seriousness, man, the the code is: Hey, look, you. I, and I teach this to kids. To, uh, uh, karate is for defense only. Now, if you take kara means uh, tay tay means hand. Kara means empty. So we're learning to defend ourselves with our empty hands. Okay, now okay. there's available. Yeah, we use a weapon, but we are really learning to defend ourselves with empty hands, and that's all it is defense. You know, uh, it's never anything that I do outside of competition is never offensive or offensive. Uh, it's always on the defense, always on the protection type. And again, the code is once we've defended ourselves intelligently, we, we walk away. Done. But that is good, man. Uh, shifting gears a little bit. What about this code that says, okay, if 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 we date somebody, we break up. The fella, you can't date the same girl I just broke up with. Where did that come from? Uh, a bunch yeah. of bullshit -ish. rumors. Rumors. <laughs> rumors. That comes from the, that comes from the the hurt feelings of the guy who lost the chick. That's where that came That's from. Yeah. There you go. That's it. There you go. I couldn't handle it, but you can't have it. No, man, hold on. Slow down. Right, no, Slow no, down. Brother. Just because right. you can't drive a stick 
don't mean that I can't drive a steel. You know, you know what I'm just because you, you wasn't fit. pushing the clutch right or something. Just but right. don't tell me I can't try to. Spaces. I can't try to drive. Come just on, now. because you don't fit in certain spaces, don't mean I can't feel that. <laughs> yeah, space. man. Right. I'm just saying. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> don't need an automatic. Right. <laughs> right. 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 Y'all are too. Y'all are too. Good evening right. again, everybody. Y'all tap that screen. We right. want about seventy-five thousand likes tonight. We got up with almost a hundred people in the room, and me and the fella just cutting up with this whole bro code, man code thing. And when is it? When is it necessary for you to speak up and say something? You know, if you see something going down. And it's one of your friends, your homeboy. When do you step in and say something? You know, sometimes we don't want to hurt people's feelings. You know, I'm not trying to get involved. It's none of my business. Mm -hmm. We got to look out for each other because we are our brother's we, keeper. We are. And we are. But here, here, here's my thing, Doc and fellas. Uh, some guys, I'm a snitch. I ain't going to lie. If I don't like the dude, I'm a snitch. I'm a... <laughs> See, I was going to say snitch. that. You're a I, snitch. I, I, I code. He can't. The bro code. Not, I, yeah, they can't whoop me, so I'm gonna snitch. Right. <laughs> now, exactly. If it's if it's my brother and I catch my brother, I'm like I'm pumped. To, hey, look, dude, you you out here effing up. You like you better slow slow down. Yeah. See, the problem with the bro code is the bro really? code only applies to people you like. You know. Right? It's not you, a, you're looking at my it's notes. Not, it, looking at my notes. It's not a man code. Looking at my notes. <laughs> but it, it's not a man code because it doesn't apply to all men. Exactly. All right. It only applies to the people you like. Because exactly. you'll bust out that dude you don't like. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's part of the bro code, actually. <laughs> oh, wait. But, but is that not disingenuous, though? Exactly. The whole bro code is disingenuous. It's, hey, man, you can't be cheating. Don't tell my woman. The whole right. thing's you know, the whole thing ain't right, but it's, some people feel it's necessary. But I, I, I have a question, I have a question for, for the panel and the folks out in the chat. At what okay. time, at what point does, how can I say this? At what point do you not become a respecter of feelings? At what point? Because you know how they say God is not a respecter of, of feelings? He, yeah. He's going to give it to you the way he's going to give it to you. Mm -hmm. Your feelings be right. damned. At what point do we as humans, living in the flesh, at what point do we say, you know what, I, I'm not really respecting your feelings right now, but I'm gonna have to tell you exactly how this is going, how the cow is gonna eat this cabbage. At what well, point it, do it, we again, do it's 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 your motivation, right? It, it, would it be your intentions? What's your intention? Well, the intention is to tell the person the truth. The God yeah, okay. right. whole heart right. and hand on the Bible truth. Now, okay, if I'm telling you the truth and you within your feelings, am I supposed to just cow down and be like, you know what, I don't want you to be mad nope. at me or so on nope. and so forth? At, no. And, and that's that's that part of being me, a friend. And that's part of being a friend. Because friends can, friends can tell you that, things that other people can't. Right. The folks Dr. That John me, Scott, they, and, they introduce tell. yourself. Dr. Hey guys, Scott, I'm introduce Dr. yourself. I'm Dr. John. I'm a uh, I'm a clinical child psychologist. So. Oh. Uh -oh. I might be un I might be unprepared. He said, "Child." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. We're all Wait, kids at heart, right? Uh, yeah, chime in about the bro code, the man code, along, along look, with what uh, the question look, that Goldie just asked. I'm going to tell you, it, it does exist, but it does have limits, all right? Because I don't know how many of you guys uh, ha was in a fraternity, but I'm still friends 27 years later with the frat boys, okay? Now, let me tell you, every I'm year, every month. every year, every year we go to Greece, right? Every year we go to Greece for a month. I usually go for only two weeks, but okay. we go to Greece. Now, we have a code. That if I bring somebody that I'm dating, she's off limits, right? Okay. But if I but if my but if my my girlfriend, if she brings a friend, she's not off limits. The friend now, we, is we, the friend is not off limits. The friend okay. is not off limits, right? Okay. So okay. we actually had that issue once before when I took her and she said, I want to take a friend to Greece. I said, Okay, but I told her the code. I told her the code. And sure enough, her friend got hit on all the time. Now wow. you're talking about four. I mean, I'm, I'll be 49 in December. So you're talking about a bunch of middle aged men. You know, most of my brothers, and I'm sure you guys can relate to this. Most of my brothers still haven't settled down. Wow, now, they are confirmed. They are confirmed <laughs> bachelors, right? So right. yeah, the bro, the bro code exists, but I, but but like he said, it only exists if they're your friend. Oh, okay, and, and you're, if yeah, there's if you're not, yeah. and isn't there a knucklehead inside the crew? That's gonna break the code and act like a right. knucklehead. 
Right. right. And he's gone. He's gone. I mean, because, you know, we're really strict on that because, you know, somebody's got there's like 27 of us that go. So some of these guys are married. They bring their wives. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're honorary. You know, we also we also have uh, uh, society friends that come. Now, some of right. those are girls. Right. So they also are under the same code. They're under the same code. Now, it's it's not just it's not just for brothers. It's for, you know, it's for sisters, too. You know, if they're friends of friends, you know, or or if they're if they're part of the same the same society we were at Wake Forest. Right. Then they can come and they're off limits. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not saying you can't date each other. We're right. just saying it has to be mutual. And it also has to be you can't have dated one of the one of the brothers and sisters. You can't because that happened. Don't, don't that get, happened with so so, so to Goldie's question, within y'all's circle, your circle, have you had to be honest with one of your brothers, one of your fraternity brothers? Had, did you have to share a truth with them yep. because they were they were out of step? They weren't out of step. Their wife was out of step. Hmm. Wow. She wow. stepped out of him and was hitting on one of the one of the brothers, and he had to tell him. He had to tell him, and the problem is, comes to find out, it happened multiple times. So he ended up divorcing her wow. because of her, because of her infidelity. Now it only because I'm gonna tell you guys. I don't know if you guys agree with me, but I bet you do. Men are terrible at cheating. Women are very, very good at it. You're not gonna <laughs> catch a woman. They're clever at it, and she'd been doing it for years. And it took a it took one of the frat brothers to call her out on it. Now here's the thing. You know, we also have a code of truth. Like if, right. you're, if you're one of my if you're one of my brothers, you're one of my friends, close friends. If you come tell me something, I'm going to believe you. Well, I'm okay. going to believe you. That is good. OK, so let, 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 let's pull that thread. Why? <laughs> why is it that men, some men are some men are good at it. But why are men not as good as women at cheating what what's that what's that delta what's that gap that's easy you want me to answer that or you want one of the other guys answer yeah, no, you answer go ahead and answer easy. why you're on the seat why you're in the hot seat because we okay, gotta let right. you go in a couple minutes but because, you go ahead because, okay my i'm gonna tell you because men they, they, they don't want to admit it but we're more emotional beings than than women now i'm gonna tell you why this is why now this now th i'm stepping out of my psychology role here okay i'm just gonna be a human okay but i'm gonna tell you that's why men and women can't be friends because women can friend zone you. Right. But the only, but let me tell you, but the only reason you're friend zoned is because she doesn't want it now, but guys, guys will always mess up a friendship between a man and a woman because they want more. Now, the problem is men show that more. And when they do, women are, are more intuitive and they can catch on to it. Whereas men, we don't catch on to it. And women know. Women know how to That's how to hide this stuff. Good, they know how to hide this stuff. They know they know how to meet in places that aren't going to be anywhere around. We as men are stupid, and sometimes we think with the wrong head, and we end up getting in situations where we're in the same freaking city, same city. Could even be a stupid. You could be as dumb as up, be a neighbor, and you mess it up. Women are smarter than right. that. It's women all, are smarter than it, it. It's all about our ego. It's all about it. Thank you for being with us for a few minutes, Dr. John. Yes, Stay sir. tuned, yes. man. We appreciate you being with us, man. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. it. I'm going to add on to Dr. John if I can. Uh, first of all, Come on. like he said, the, the the reason women are better at it than men because we're terrible at it. We're Especially if you're cheating, you're so worried about covering your butt and you not getting caught. You ain't even looking at her. You're trying to cover your own stuff. That's the first reason. And the reason men can't be women... I believe men can't be friends with women just, you know, like women and women can because we do show. We just show up with a dick. We have it. It's a problem. It's the curse. We show up <laughs> and eventually you're going to get that thought or that idea or she's going to say something or wear something and you're going to be like, mm -hmm. That's right. we just show up with a penis. Like, That's what screws it up. Hmm. So in the wow. comment, uh, we got a Come comment on. that says, Women sometimes friend zone not because they're unattractive, but to keep as an option. Uh, and we and we all know. Let's just put it on out here. We all know. Come uh, on. If you didn't have, if you don't have now, you did have in the past. You got a man that comes and cuts the grass. You got a man that fixes the car. You got a man that that's a handyman. And then you have Mister Put It Down. You have the man that comes and pays the old man that comes and pays the bills. You know, you rub on his knee a little bit, and you oh, I give you a couple dollars for that bill. Let, let's just be yeah. real. Yeah. 
<clears throat> that know, male attention. Uh, yeah. I would. I, I know y'all may get on to me for this reference, but. Uh, K.S., bless his heart, talked about that male attention and the pretty girl, that pretty girl syndrome. They have that male attention. To your point, Rory, they got about six guys on the hook. And I, I know for a fact because I've been I've been the maintenance man. I've been the sucker that would give you. Know, I've been the $40 man. I've been what you the, say. put it down. I've, I've, I've been I've, I've played those roles. And it was one point wow. in time where I was happy to do it. You know, cause I, I was young. I was stupid, you know, and, yeah, you know, I thought that was, man, I ain't got to worry about this chick. She called me every other Thursday. I know what I'm supposed to come and do. And I'm going to come and put it down. Wow. Hmm. You know, I've been I've been in those roles, man. And that that's how I know it's true. But then, you know, it, it, it falls under uh, double standards because let 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 me have, you know, one on Wednesday and one on Thursday and one on Friday and one on Saturday and the one to make the collard greens and the other one to make the mac and cheese. I'm the biggest dog in the world. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Boy, that was, <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> Boy, that was on time. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, done. I'm, the, I'm the biggest dog in the world. Barking. But Keisha and, and Inez and Bernadette can all have Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike, Ralph, and Johnny come and do whatever. And, and, and see, and see the if we pull that thread, those are the same people that say, and I quote, "I can't find nobody." Cause you'd have ran them. You have ran them all away. So let's talk about mm. that, Doc. Here you mm. have. I, I, I've come heard on. all my life growing up. I've heard all my life going, oh, girl, I want one tall, dark, and handsome. Now, and I use myself for an example all the time. Now, I was, I was raised in the 80s, okay? And uh, dark skin wasn't in back then, okay? Guys like Snake <laughs> Yellow, they, Christopher Williams. We got Christopher Williams and I'll be sure in the chat, right? Wow. I'll be sure. <laughs> <laughs> we got Everybody wanted to be light-skinned, wanted light-skinned with wavy hair. But then Morris Day. Morris Day. Day. I want tall, dark, and handsome. And here I am, six foot two inches tall when I was in high school now. Uh six foot two inches tall, got dimples, dark skin, and, and just as handsome as I want to be. As nice as I want to be. I've been told, Doc, this is old phrase. I've been told that Rory, I would date you, but you're just too nice. I want something that's kind of toxic. I, 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 I don't feel like I'm loved unless my man beats me twice a month. You have talked actual women's <laughs> mouths, brother. Yeah. And so here I am. Cardi B said me. Cardi B says she doesn't like boring. Cardi B says she loves drama. And, and why? Cuz look, look, the the girls that I chased in high school. Check this out. The girls that I chased in high school wouldn't give me the time of day. But Rory what Holmes showed up showed up as Corporal Holmes. Right? Now she's got Three, four kids, got four kids and six baby daddies. Okay. Oh, Rory, you know, I've always liked you since the win. Because mm -hmm. when I was since talking to you, you wasn't giving me the time of day. Now you see that I'm about something. Now you see these stripes on my sleeves and I'm about something. I'm the same dude that I was in high school right. that I am now in corporal homes. Right. But you wasn't checking for me then. So why mm -hmm. should I check for you? That's right. Oh, mommy queen, prom queen. Whatever you were in high school, you peaked in high school. I was the dork. I was the I was the, the funny guy, the brother, the sidekick to the, to the, the square. Stuff. The mm. square. Friend zone king. Facts. And yes, sir. Uh, I'm me uh, too. looking a little bit better. I'm walking a little bit. I got a little more swag about myself, a little bit more confidence about myself. Now you want to talk to a cat? No. Back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, can, I can truly all right can rick truly, ross all right rick I, ross I, I can truly attest to everything that that Roy come on goldie said, but on the on the brighter side of things i i, I can't attest to being six two and dark and <laughs> and all of that I'm, I'm five foot nine and bright as the sun so that that would be my story but i was always i was always the dude on the bench while the one that i was trying to trying to holler at had a starting five I was never part of that starting five. I was the one riding the pine. I was the one that that always had that ear to 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 bend, uh, the shoulder to lean on. I was that dude. You know what I'm saying? So when they all kept saying, 
I wish I could find. I wish I could find. I would just gently turn their shoulders towards me and be like, can you see? And they were like, not you. You just, you just, you just this and you just, you just that. And then 10 years later, four and a half kids and two divorces later, they look at me like, you know what? I really did. I really did like you. And I, I no, 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 ma'am. Mm-hmm. No, ma'am. What, what, what we're not going that, to do. That ship done sail. What we're not going right. to do is have revisionist history. And then you try to uh, skew it where I was the invisible one that did not notice you. No, ma'am. Right. We, that's what we're not going to do. So being, being, being in that Right there. And then, of course, this ties into uh, the, the man code thing. You would always have that one dude that would be like, hey, man, you know, she really not into you like that. But you know what? How about you introduce me to her? Where, wait, wait. Whoa, hold, hold, hold on here. How how, we, how, we gonna, how you going to ask me? You know where my heart is, but here you're going to pull me to the side saying, yeah. well, since she's rejecting you so right. hard. You know, she, mm. you not in her eyes. So yeah, I want you yeah. To uh, uh, like in the five heartbeats, the brother game, man. Go talk uh, to her for me. Get a get him get a uh, number for me. Right. He's so right. shy. He's so <laughs> shy. <laughs> so shy. Shy guy. But you know what's so yellow? <laughs> you know what's so for real? For real? I'll be like, you know what? Cool. She can have you. Go ahead. Shoot your shot. Do your thing. I got you. Because <laughs> for me, it was a part of now. Okay, cool. I've been this good guy. I'm going ahead and just start being a jerk. And I don't know what it is when the split, right. the split split, I started being a jerk, and man, I couldn't keep them off me. Mm. Ain't that something? See? That's amazing. The yeah. irony. There, there's so many ironies of life, you know? There's so many ironies in life. We need to write a book because, like, when, when you have something, you can get something. But when you don't have anything, you can't get nothing. You can't get right. nothing. Big fact. You know, it, and, 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 and and I saw one of the comments. The comment says it goes both ways. And and, and true enough, uh, we, we passed. Oh, of course. I, I, of course. Myself, I have passed up good women chasing this quote unquote dream or whatnot. And uh, passed up women that were, were good for me all my life. Um, and just just missed the boat on a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't, right. That person doesn't make them, them bad people. It's just that. You know, we like what we like. We go after what we want. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes what we want isn't always what we need. Exactly. There you go. You know what that's I'm saying? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. That's exactly and, right. We And that's part, again, that's part of the man code. Help me. Help me. If you see me about to get in trouble, pull my coattail. You know, again, we are our brother's keeper. Pull my coattail. You know, I may not listen. We may not listen. But pull our coattail and say, yo, time out, bro. Come on now. Yeah. Come on now. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. Come on now. Don't now, do that. Because it's going to come back on you now. Come on. Come on. You find out You find out that somebody, one of your boys that's in the man code, one of those guys that's in the <laughs> arena, you find out that they woman cheating. You tell him. But you find out that he's cheating, would you tell her? Woo! That's not my place because she's not my homegirl. Mm. <laughs> Cause right, because right and wrong is right and wrong. Right, right. right. And you know, I'll right. be wrong as two left shoes. I'm sorry. I, mm. <laughs> I'll I'm be sorry. wrong as two left shoes. I'm gonna pull him to the side and be like, "Bro, you effing up right now. You effing up." Yeah, bro, bro. Because I'm okay. This is what I, I'm not gonna volunteer any information. Mm. But if she asks me, if she asks, listen, I, 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 was just ah. say, Rory, I was just about to ask that. You're not going to volunteer information, but if she asks the right questions, if she asks, well, not, not just not just any question, if you ask the right question, I mm. may just go ahead and volunteer the, the answer that you're looking for. I'm going to answer honestly. I ain't going to yeah. volunteer. Because, okay, you let's ask you like, let, let, let's throw it out there like this. Let's throw it out there like this. If you were doing something you were not supposed to be doing and, and that – we can bound it to this conversation. Let's say you were doing something you weren't doing, and if one of your, if one of us tap you on the shoulder, how would you feel? Would you, how would you feel if you're the one that needs to be corrected, or you're the one that's being told on how you're gonna feel? I'd be well, mad at myself. <laughs> I've been in that position. I'd be mad Yo. at myself because <laughs> look, you don't. If you play the game, you're not supposed to get caught. If, right. if you're good enough, you don't get caught. If you get caught. Who are you gonna be mad at? It's not a secret. Yeah. As soon as you tell somebody, 
Right. As soon as you tell somebody, it's no longer a secret. As soon as you let it slip, as soon as someone finds out, it's no longer a secret. Now you're at the mercy of the other person. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Benjamin Franklin says three people can keep a secret if two of them are dead. Exactly. Big fact. That and is a I learned a long time ago when I was doing dirt, do your dirt by yourself. That's right. I ain't never told on me. I ain't never told on me. What? I ain't never snitched on myself. <laughs> a uncle, used to, uh, uh, a uncle of mine used to always say, if you're digging dirt, pack your own shovel. Pack your own don't, right. li don't let someone dig what your you dirt. Say? Don't let that, that's part of that man code, dirt. ain't it? That's definitely yeah. part of your man code. If you're going to do dirt, make sure that you have your own shovel and you know when to put it down. That yeah. was it. That was his. That That's was right, his friend. Key to me, that was his key to me. Who said that, friend? And there to you your go. point, friend. Good evening again, everybody. We got eleven thousand likes. We on our way to seventy thousand. It's seventy five people in here, and French. That's part of the man code. And I heard Mike Vick. I love me some Mike Vick. Uh, they were doing an interview before the game the other night, and it was done with me now. Michael Vick, Jalen Hurst talking to uh, RG three. And one of the things Mike Vick said is that spirit of each one teach one. And mm -hmm. all of this is we got over 200 years of life in this room. Dr. Yeah. Scott came yeah. and again, almost 250 years of life in this room, in this building. And so part of the man code, part of the bro code is that each one teach one. And we are yeah. sharing some of our life with you so that, wait a minute, uh-oh. I need to reconsider some of the things I'm doing because that's not going to end well. And mm -hmm. as we get older, as we mature, we understand that trouble costs money and time. Mm -hmm. Now that we're older, <laughs> we may have a little bit more money, but we don't have as much time. I don't have that much. You know time. what I'm saying? And, and so we we have learned some things that we're sharing because we we've stepped in the manure a few times. We've been in the hog pen a couple of times. We have been fourth and five with seven yards and thirty seconds left in the game, and we need seven points to win. We down by five. We've mm -hmm. been there, done that, and got a couple of tattoos and a coffee cup. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. Well, see, people, when you're you younger. Know? People are way more forgiving. They expect you to screw up when you're young. You don't do it on purpose. But, you know, they don't say it. You're young, dumb, and full of, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. We do that. The part of the bro yeah. code where yeah. people mess up is part of the bro code is eventually you mature. Yeah. That's when you got, you all you should start maturing together. You always got that one or two. It just don't catch on. Right. But you should start maturing together and then. You mellow out. Hey, man, you know that ain't right. We ain't like we used hey, to. Hey, man, friend. And you're married. You know, you, you right. should be concentrating on you. That type of right. stuff. Mentor, critique, counsel, all of that stuff amongst each other. But you get that one. I'm getting it. I'm getting it all. Dude, you're Always 50. One. Stop it. One. You know, I, yeah. quit it. Yeah, you're 59 but, and a half. Come on. Come right. on now. Well, come on. And, and come on. The, you he's you the pretty one much that's selling bro code. You know, he's the one still yelling bro code, and the rest of us done matured, got married, been through our hardships with the women we wanted, screwed up, or whatever. But now we done settled down, but you still got that one or two. Hey, man, let's go on the thing, just the brothers. Look, man, I'm married. And this, right. Can I bring my wife? No, man, we just going to go out and do some stuff. Dude, you need to grow up. And you this, always got that one. That that would be the one person. That would be, like, yeah. out of all of us, out of all of us sitting up here, uh, we all sitting up here hanging and everything together. You got that one dude that that you're describing right now. That person would get mad at the four of us because we don't want to play ball how he playing ball. Right and now, now he's talking to us like we're less than. And man, right. y'all ain't no fun no more. And this, that, and the other. Well, you when you added the word "no more," that lets mm -hmm. me know that you're still thinking forty years ago when we right. used to mm -hmm. run and do things crazy thirty yeah. years ago. Right. At, at a given time, you're gonna have to advance that clock up to today's date. Right. And grow yeah. accordingly. That's right. Agreed. Agreed. That, and, that, that, and, and to y'all's point, like like if you watch sports, I love football, as you probably can tell. When the no, younger athletes that, slip up, trip with up, that mess up. You, with that team behind you, we still can't tell if you like football or not. <laughs> right. So, I'm Man, like, my heart, my heart still hurt. My heart <laughs> still hurt right today. <laughs> my heart still is heavy. My heart still heavy. You know, my heart's still heavy. But anyway, Anywho. the younger athletes, just <laughs> just depending on the severity of the offense, they, they get a pass for their youthfulness. And my, my dad used to say all the time, um, age and life is 
wasted on the youth. The youthfulness is just wasted on the young because we misuse it. Because what if we had the mind now in a young man's body? We would lose our mind. Oh my God. <laughs> We'd have a when you're young. Man, if we I knew then when you're young, what I know now, at this I'd age, took over the we, world. At this age, we already dangerous. Now imagine with this mind back then. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. <laughs> It that reminds me of a joke. That reminds have me mercy. of a joke. Y'all probably, probably heard this. Y'all probably heard this. There was this old Come bull on. and a young bull out yeah. on the pasture yeah. on yeah. top of a hill. Yeah. Young bull looks down the hill and says, you see all those heifers? Man, let's run down there and get one. And the old bull says, slow down, young buck. Let's walk down there and get them all. And get them all. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that experience. As you grow up, you get that experience. Yeah. You don't waste that energy. You don't run down there and get one. You walk down there and you get one. See when, see, see when you, <laughs> when when you roaring, when you when you roaring age. See when you're young, you're a microwave. But when you get older, you're a crock pot. You're a crock pot. A Dutch <laughs> oven. Gotta let it you're simmer. A Dutch <laughs> oven. That's right. That's right. We we'll even we'll even give Rory the the title of pressure cooker. We'll even we'll even give you the pressure cooker. Yeah. <laughs> don't let, listen, don't let this youthful spirit. Yeah, hey, we got a new nickname. We got a new nickname for Rory. Pressure cooker. Cleasing on. Cleasing on. Pressure cooker. That man's a ninja pressure cooker. And it's, a, it's apropos. Oh, Angie, 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 Angie messing with you, Rory. I see you. And she ain't lying. My bones creak. I get up and I take a leave every morning before I go to work. You understand? <laughs> that's my. That's one of my golf secrets. That's one of my golf secrets. Mine After too. every tournament, I soak in a bath of Epsom salt. You understand mm. me? I'm getting old. I, I don't that's get what's Epsom right. salt. Dude, that's what's wrong. Right. I'm, mm. I'm not as fast as I used to be. The stamina isn't there like it used to be. And sometimes, you know what? I have to say, not today. I have to back Look, away. Man. It can be looking right in the fishnet stockings like I like, Doc. And I just have to say, you know what? I, I just can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm fresh out of blue. Too. And that breaks your heart, don't it? What? Look, I'm, I'm with you, Rory. You know, I, I'm with you. Look, I ain't as fast as I am. I'm not what? as fast as I used to be. I'm not as strong as I used to be. So Is I hang that... out with fat people. <laughs> I hang out with fat people. That, that right there, what Rory said, shows you the progression of age, honestly. When you, hey, French, when you young, French, be when ready. Young, French, be ready to. Hey, French, be ready to be one of our hot seat members next week because Dr. Scott, we had it him to the conversation today. But next week, you be ready next week because next week we're going to talk about what happens when you in love with a woman, uh -huh. but she don't love you back. Lord, mm -hmm. We're going to do that Samson Delilah profile next week. We're going to study. We're going to talk about Samson and Delilah next week. It's bad. Remember this, French. You get ready to talk about this next week. It's bad to love somebody that don't love you back. And that's part of that get back because... There have been times somebody loved us and we didn't love them. Yes, sir. And so how do we carry that? But we'll talk about that next week. We'll talk about that next week. Uh, Rory was, brought that uh, up. That was a great thing. Rory brought it. We're going to talk about that next week. I was about to say, I was about to say what Rory was talking about earlier. That shows you the progression of aging. Uh, mm -hmm. When you're young, you be like, That's right. yeah, I can do, you know, your, all your answers will be, yeah, I can do that. Sure. Yeah. I can do that. When you start getting to your middle age, you be like, you know what? I can try. Yeah. But yeah. now that when you get to That's that right. serious age, you say, mm, I can't. I just can't. Yeah. That it, shows you the progression of age right and, there. And that's, that's your strength. That that shows you your strength. That shows yeah. you your strength. And, and to the conversation next week, to, for the conversation next week, and, and all the ladies, and, and, and it works both ways, like feeling us, everybody saying tonight works both ways. It looks like when somebody is done with you, you mm -hmm. want them that much more. Yeah. You know, we you've been y'all been kind of doing this whole yin yang thing, this hen and hawing and back and forth. Mm -hmm. But when you finally close that door, you be like heck to get that door open back up. You know what I'm saying? We'll talk about that next week. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes, a lot of times, there's an old saying. Y'all know this one: you don't miss your water till your well runs your dry. Well run dry, baby. You yes. know, and what you had in your hand, the the, the maybe the, the the shimmer and the shining wore off a little bit. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hello. Um. Uh. Who said that? Who said somebody said they need a paint lady table? But what we're gonna do. Rory mess with us about this too. We're going to have a battle of the sexes too. Once a month, 
we're going to have a battle of the six and we're going to allow some of the ladies to come in. But this is Blue Table Talk for men. And we're having some man talking. The ladies, y'all sitting on the porch drinking oh. some, uh, drinking whatever y'all drink. Mimosas. They be having mimosas. mimosas. Uh, Moscato. I'm going to throw, throw in a quick, a quick perspective on what we were talking about. Somebody, I know this is next week. Sometimes you get in a relationship. Every now and be then. Proper, be, be proper or improper, and you do fall in love. But you know it's only going to go so far. And sometimes you just walk away and cut your losses. Yeah. Sometimes right. you just have to. You got to cut it loose. It's going to hurt. You right. know, but sometimes you're like, look, this is what we were supposed to be doing. We done went too far. I done fell in love with you and I yeah. shouldn't have. It's, mm -hmm. We got to walk away. And I'm, you just gonna, take that to your grave, baby. Look <laughs> I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say this. I'm going to say this for, for the room for, for basically next week. What, what Dr. Sims is talking about, I made a video on. And it's about expiration dates. Why mm -hmm. do we have the hardest time reading expiration dates in a relationship? Mm -hmm. Because on a bottle... If an expiration date is on a bottle, that's good. It, you, you, women have no problems in dropping that bottle in the trash. If it's yeah. expired a day, they're going to throw it away. But when it comes to relationship and they see the expiration date glaringly in their face, they don't they ignore it. They think that they can make it stretch for a little while. Yeah. Longer. But but like you said, we're going to talk about that. That's next, next week. That's next yes, week. Okay. Yeah, and, and I'm going to mess with y'all. You got <laughs> You gotta uh what K Camp say, cut it off. <laughs> cut you cut it off and let it go. It ain't nothing to cut that. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good conversation. It's a good live, y'all. It's a good live. And and that's why that's why Proverbs, the book of Proverbs, Solomon, the wisest man in the world, Proverbs said, and this is for everybody, and, and ladies, unbeknownst to y'all, our hearts get broken too. And we'll talk about it again oh. next week. But our hearts get broken, too. And that's why Proverbs says, guard your heart. Ponder the path of your feet and guard your heart. Because it is, it's, it's tough unloving somebody. If you begin to develop and, and build in some emotional equity, it's hard to unlove somebody. As much energy as you put in to get to that place. It's hard to unravel that you get to missing people and thinking about them. You do your level best. Oh, I ain't thinking about you. What do you, I wonder what they're doing. Right. Mm -hmm. Checking their Facebook. You know, it's minutes. tough. Checking to see or if you they get, change the status in their, uh, on Su their Facebook page. Look at Suzanne's question. Su Suzanne says, what does it mean when a guy says he loves you and wants to be with you? Well, again, uh, with, again, week. this leads into next, next week's conversation, but... Oh, I love you, Suzanne. But you're gonna have to come back next week, sweetie. <laughs> <Clip hanger. laughs> she one of mine. I That's think she follow me in here. I love you, sis. But yeah, you're gonna have to come back next week. You go ahead and hit let him go ahead. You gotta come back next week. Okay, okay. I'll be obedient. I'll be obedient. I love you, sis. Let him hit it with that ASMR real quick. Okay. <laughs> and and, and because people, guys, people don't think Sneaky, Sneaky may talk to this because Sneaky, Sneaky has some rough edges if he doesn't mind us saying so. But men, we we have we have hearts too. I was watching Yellowstone. I started Yellowstone, and an incident happened. Uh, one of um, Kevin Costner's sons got gets killed early on, and um, his son, other son, his baby son gave his dad a horse and he took the horse into the barn and just broke down crying. And I kind of broke down last week. We have emotions. So, and I'll just say this and I'll be obedient to uh, uh, feel, feel pointed his finger at him. I'm going to be obedient, but I'm going to say this. When a man says he loves you. And I mean, he really, you know, when he means it, you mm -hmm. better take heed to that. Yes. Yes. Men have started wars over women. Big what? Big yes, big. they have. What? Men have done amazing things. What? We've done stupid shit over women. The We've all horse, done it. <laughs> the Trojan horse was made behind a woman, behind yeah. Helen of Troy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what'd that tell you? Right. Look, women love strong with emotion. Men love dumb. We do dumb shit. We do yeah, dumb. we do dumb stuff. We love dumb. Man, when a man loves a woman, 
Yeah. When a man loves a woman. Good evening again, everybody. We got to we're gonna go into overtime tonight because this is good. It's too good to cut off, and I'm, I missed y'all, and it's good to see y'all. Couldn't wait to see y'all. I'm like my brothers here. We love Wednesday nights at eight o'clock. And Rory was messing with me last week, and I was just chilling. I was tending to my sweetie, and we were fluffing, appealing everything. And Rory's like, "Dr. Shane, where you at? It's eight o'clock." I'm like. 8 or 8 30. I was so distracted. I said, let me hurry up and get set up. And we just excited about this time together. Um, but y'all need to understand, men, we love hard now. When you have a man that loves you, he'll run through a brick wall for you. Yeah. I'm that type, Doc. When I uh when I get there with you, and I'm to the point where, you know, I'll knock him up out for you or what have you. Yeah, that's 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 where I'm at, man. But then on the flip side, once I'm done with you, I'm done with you. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, yeah no. Rory, is, Rory, you Big gone, right? Deuces. Big you, I, I tell people all the time, you'll forget I even existed. Hmm. Okay, I had to, I had to, uh, I had to show out a little bit last week. Now you, you can do. Pretty much to me, anything you want. I'm just that guy. I'm not confrontational. You, I give you the shirt off my back. I give you my last two dollars. I give you my last twinkie. But when you mess with first lady, mm -hmm. my my talents come out. I ha I had to talk to a supervisor last week because what happened was it was so unprofessional and 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 we I don't want to go into the detail. But I had to show out last week, and I know that makes be like Dr. Sam. Oh 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 oh, I got a gear now. I got to get. No, that is not surprising. Mm. I, I, I tell people all the time, a lot of people can, can portray, we can portray ourselves as puppies until we show our teeth. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? The moment, the moment you show your teeth and let other people know that, damn it, I can bite too. Try yeah. me if you want to. And the last thing you want is to get Pro nipped <laughs> by a puppy because it seems like that's the, that's the worst bite you in the world. Period. So, so for That's you right. to say, That's you, know, right, you, might, you might think, you might think, uh, Doctor Sims, no, 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 because we are all men. We are all we can get defensive at the drop of a hat. Right on. And I, I'm, I hate to bring, I hate to bring the zodiac into it, but damn it, I'm a Taurus. Hello. It takes a, it takes Hello. a minute to wind me up, but once I'm wound up, guard your face. Right. <laughs> I like what you said. About, yeah. I like see, I'm, I'm, about I'm, a, I, I'm, I'm a, hey. Hey, I'm a I'm a Gemini. I got I got I got twins. I got two sides. <laughs> Cheers to you, sir. Cheers to you. I, I I like what you said about a puppy being the worst bite. Because mm -hmm. you look at that puppy in them eyes, and that puppy loves you. If a yeah. stray dog's coming by in a straight, you ex you don't trust that dog. Right. You expect him to bite you. You're gonna do everything to avoid that dog so you don't get bit. But that puppy that you've been petting and rubbing and feeding, and he got them big old eyes and he bites you. I can, you just feel betrayed. That's right. That's I didn't expect that up. from That's you. That's right. That's yeah. right. Exactly. Yeah. You be like, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But we that love hard right. because uh, uh, sneaky, sneaky. Tell everybody this. What advantage does your wife have? I love it when you say this. What advantage does your wife have? Oh, my wife has advantage over all women because I love her. Right. Right on. She's. There's no contest. I I love there's it when no you contest. say that. Yeah. Okay, let me let's ask this question then. Let me ask you and um you and Goldie this. When did you really know? When did you really begin to love your wife? When what what happened and one day you looked up and said, I love her. When did that happen? Hmm. I know it happened in high school because I got married in 19. I got my I look, I got my training okay. wife. I ain't had to trade her in. I got the same one. I got my training one. But uh <laughs> You got a classic. Yeah, I got a classic. And suspension's still good. Racket pick and steering, <laughs> everything's good. But uh <laughs> um I don't know, just spending more money. I met my wife doing a favor for her brother. Okay. And then I started going okay. over there less and less to see him and more and more to see her. And I met her ex boyfriend because he was an ROTC with my brother, with my brother in law, with, with her brother. Oh, and uh, okay, yeah, he look, he was a senior, I was a sophomore. Boom, boom, boom. Anyway, I took him. <laughs> but <laughs> during, that, during, during that relationship, I don't know. Um, I fell in love with that woman, that girl at the time. In a raggedy old house, and it wasn't too well. It was kind of bad on the south side of Chicago. 
And uh, yeah, and that house might have had the heat on, might not have had the heat on. And yeah, Chicago winter with no heat. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You get, and I would go over there because yeah, my come folks come were, come 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 Yeah, my fo right. my father's always been middle class, you know, middle class, blah, blah, blah. And I would walk over there blocks and blocks in the snow to see my girlfriend at the time. And uh they weren't poor, but they didn't they weren't as good, they they weren't as well off. And uh yeah, man, freaking the house was cold and they have a little space heater, and I was still over there to see. It. They put up a blanket and seal off one room. I'm still that over there is to see. It. You know, and I was in high that school. That is good. Um, uh, that is awesome. That and sneaky. That that's just a love story, man. What about you, Goldie? I was I was about to say something real flippant and say I, the moment I knew uh, I loved that woman in there is when we got joint bank accounts. I was about to say that uh, <laughs> just to be just to be funny. <laughs> uh, when we got joint bank accounts, damn it, that's love for me. But what no, I'm, but to be truly honest with you, and I had to really think about it. I really became that dude. I really loved, love Scarlett after I saw her give birth to my first kid. And I Amen. watched, Amen. I watched, I watched a transformation of a body giving life to another body. That, and that is an action that I can never do. And she did that for me. That was it for me. That, 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 That's that, good. That, that was it. Well, good evening, Miss French. Uh, Mr. French is awesome. He's going to be in our hot seat next week. And next week we're talking about what to do when a man loves a woman and she does not love him back. And we're just going to talk about the whole man woman love thing next week and our experience and all that good stuff. It's been a great show tonight. Y'all tap that screen. We about 60,000 likes short, but it's been a great show. And we still got a 63 people strong in here tonight. We've had a great discussion tonight. Um, and is we talking about the man code, the, the bro code and our, we are our brother's keeper. We have a responsibility each one teach one. And, and my brothers here, they always sharing stuff. We always sharing stuff with each other. I love these three men. JT is not here tonight, but we got a strong crew. These are the legs of the Blue Table. This is Blue Table Talk for, for men. And it's just a place where we share our heart and share our ups and our down. And uh, the youngest brother in here is Mr. Rory, the storm. He got hands. He'll lay hands on. Try Jesus. Don't try Rory. Try, try Jesus. Jesus. And we got, yeah, we, try, yeah, try <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Cause I lay hands. Uh, <laughs> we got Goldie. We got Phil. We got over two hundred years of experience in this room. Now, uh, in two weeks, I think the first Wednesday in December, we have our first battle of the sexes. And I think Angie said she's ready. She's lathering up. And Miss Tamiko says she's ready. So we'll pick. We'll pick a couple of. We want up to up with some four ladies want to join us. Cause we'll do two teams. We got team one is Goldie. And Rory, and then Team Two is Sneaky, and if JT is not here, be me and Sneaky. So, mm -hmm. so we excited, we excited. So, mm -hmm. go ahead, Sneaky. What's your last comments as far as we talking? We talked about so many things tonight. What's your parting words tonight for the crew? Well, my parting words. We're gonna stick with the the bro code, the man code. The man code is a honestly dishonest way of doing shit. <laughs> Big fact. Big fact. You know, we want to be... That is we perfect. Wanna, <laughs> that is perfect. Yeah. We want to be honest with ourselves and loyal to ourselves, but then make sure we break the rules and don't tell anybody else. So it's yeah. an honestly dishonest on, way man. of doing stuff. Come on. I'm guilty of it. I've followed it. I've supported bros and bros have supported me. I just don't do that anymore. Um, I just stay away from people. I try to stay away from people that are not married or like-minded. You know, over over the years, I've just matured to a point where I try to stay away from the shenanigans. Therefore, I don't have to try to justify the shenanigans. Right. Yeah. Right. That's all I got. Love you guys. Yeah. Can't wait to see That's you all good. the time. Love you all. Love you, man. Much love, bro. Much love to you. <clears throat> uh, wow. All right, Goldie. I, you know what? I, I it, it's gonna be hard to follow Sneaky uh, uh, on that one because he that was said, good. That was he good. He said it. That is so succinct in what he said. It, it is. It's the most dishonest, yeah. honest thing you could do <laughs> for your for your fellow man. And <clears throat> our, our, our yeah. I don't want to think. I don't. Uh, let me say it like this. 
the moment we imply bro code to one another, we have to take in the fact that feelings will be involved either which way, either from the guy or if we're trying to protect his lady. Either which way, right, right. a feeling is going to get involved. Sometimes, and like I said earlier, at what point do we disregard the act of sparing someone's feelings and just doing what is right. morally consistent and mm -hmm. right? So that's uh, right. To have the bro code is a is a blessing, and it can also be the worst curse you could ever have. Right on. So that's right. with that, y'all have yeah. a great week, and I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you, our light skin brother. We appreciate you. Hey. <laughs> Like right. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Rory. It's hard. It's really hard to to, to come back behind those two awesome gentlemen. Uh, uh, point blank period. The bro code is a bunch of BS. It, it's a bunch of BS. I participated in it myself. Uh, I've helped a few of my brothers do dirt in our day, in our heyday. Uh, but as yeah, as as we get older. <laughs> Uh, as we get older and start to focus on 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 ourselves and 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 maturity levels increase, we just realize that things have to change, man. And and the bro code, quote unquote, uh, ceases to exist. Um, right. That's just where it is, man. It's 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 cool when you when you're young, you know. It's it's cool when you're young. <laughs> Sounds great, you know. On, looks great on paper. Sounds great when you hear it. But in all reality, it's nothing but a setup for failure. Right. That, that's really what it is. That's good. Um, that's good. Love you. Love you, man. And and we'll be texting between now and Saturday <laughs> morning. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, everybody. I hope y'all had a good time this evening. Um, Angie, Suzanne, Tamiko, email me at drsims at drwaltersims.com. Email me that you want to be in our first Battle of the Sexes episode in two weeks. I'm going to need a picture, and I can get it off your TikTok or you send me a picture. So Suzanne, Angie, Tomiko, y'all email me because uh, you'll be the first, our first crew uh, that's going to go up against the brothers. And it, it's going to be gentle banter. It won't be nothing too harsh, but uh, we're going to have that. And we're going to open that up. Maybe the first Wednesday of the month we'll do Battle of the Sexes. And um, because this is great conversation, but we wanted to just share a male's perspective with what's on our heart. And we wanted you to know tonight that we have a code. I love the way the fellas coined it. I love how Phil put it. <laughs> a dishonest way to be honest. And the feelings are going to get involved. And, and, and like Rory said, hey, it's BS. As we grow older, we get wiser. Okay. And let me put this in your notes. Put this in your notes. Just because you get older does not make you wiser. And you would hope that as you get older, you're going to do some things differently. You're going to have a different perspective and you're going to be mindful of people's feelings. And again, I was doing some a lesson today in the book of Colossians. And it talks about seasoning your conversation with grace. Treat everybody how you want to be treated. If I'm being mistreated, I want you to <laughs> tell me if somebody's doing something unnice to me, if that's a word, tell me. If I'm doing something, I, I tell my congregation, if, if Pastor Sam, we've been together 30 years, I love my congregation. We've been together 30 years. And uh, trust me, if I'm doing something out of the way, they will let me know. They came through for me over the last three weeks. They um, they, they just took care of uh, some needs that I had over the last three weeks. And I asked my brothers this evening, when did they know they were in love or they loved their sweetheart? I knew up to this point. But in the recent accident I was in, I was more concerned about her than I was myself. And just all that we have been through over the last 
three weeks. I know I'm where and with who I supposed to be with. And I tell everybody I've been working with a couple of, for for some reason for the last uh for these last few weeks going into 2023, couples have been calling me. I I just got hired today. Couples have been calling me and leaning on me. Doctor says we need some help. The first question I asked both partners, husband, wife, do you want your marriage to work? I had a conversation this morning. Do you want your marriage to work? And their answer was, yes, sir. Oh, we can go forward now. Amen, Dr. Mob. Amen. No, no, no problem. No problem, uh, JT. We'll be back next week. Bless your heart. Thank you, man. Love you. As we grow older, we we supposed to do things differently. Now we still mess it up. I <laughs> I still have to hit the uh, forgive me button. I still have to hit the button. You know what? I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Next week we're talking about what happens when you love somebody and they don't love you. Judges thirteen through Judges sixteen. Read uh, study Samson and Delilah. Judges sixteen one says. And he fell in love with a woman from Sarek. And he loved a woman. And she didn't love him back. It's bad to share your heart with the wrong person. But again, we'll get into that next week. In two weeks, we're going to have our first battle of the sexes. All right. And it's good to see everybody tonight. And it's been strong tonight. So a good evening again to my brothers. Love y'all. And we appreciate everybody showing up in a strong way tonight. And again, pray for uh, the Tomiko Smith family. Uh, their dad is having some health challenges right now. We're praying for her and her family. We're praying for everybody tonight. And next week is Thanksgiving. And we'll have a, a Thanksgiving celebration next Wednesday. But next Thursday is Thanksgiving. And we uh, we're just going to be encouraged. And on the hot seat next week, we got French on the hot seat next week. We are so excited about next week. French going to be on the hot seat next week. And he's going to uh, open his heart and share a little bit with us next week. And we thank Dr. Scott for being here tonight. We've just had, this has been a good episode. Share this with your friends. Share this with with TikTok. And some people, some TikTok apologists are saying that engagement is down. And for whatever reason, maybe, um, but it's, it's ebbs and flows. But, but as long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, whatever platform that may be, you're going to do what you're going to do. Because Periscope, I was introduced to live streaming on Periscope, and it died uh, last year or year before last, May of 20 or 21. Uh, but here we are. You know, thank you, Tamiko. Um, and I appreciate y'all. So Tamiko, Angie, Suzanne will be our first Ladies that's going to have Battle of the Sexes with us. And I know y'all chomping at the bit. And that's what we want. We want y'all hype. And want y'all just, ah, we want to be in there with the fellas. But this is for the men. This is for the men. And the men are being blessed by this. Hey, Amen. The men are being blessed by this. And so many men are chiming in. And, and they ask questions. They're sitting in the cut. You know, listening and growing. And so, again, I'm going to give you this quote again. Just because you grow older does not automatically make you wiser. But Dr. Sims, that begs another question. How do I become wiser? I asked God this in 2015. Be careful. And I, I told the Lord, I said, I want to be a wise person. To become a wise person, you have to go through some things. In 2015, I went through, I got terminated from my engineering job. I worked at a nuclear plant. Audited by the RIS, filed bankruptcy, and my, my dad passed. He died August of 2015. And him and mom had just celebrated their 50th anniversary. So when you be careful of ask, asking for patience and be careful asking to become a wiser person because you're going to go through some things. And the only reason I'm an expert in anything, you have to have gone through some things. Okay. I've had challenges in relationships. That's how I know a couple of things. How do how do you know how to deal with people? Because I've been pastoring 30 years. How do you know how do you know how to coach somebody? I've been through some things. I help people with reinvention. I've had to reinvent myself. But anyway, I love my brothers. I love my brothers. This this we look forward to Wednesday night. 
I love Phil. I love Goldie. And I love Rory. I love JT. Love French. Love Dr. John Scott. There's some awesome brothers that hang out here. But anyway, let me go. But anyway, remember, if you stay high on life, life is going to stay high on you.